you're about to hear a short excerpt from a discussion with Paul Barnes of MAP, the firm in Manchester. If you like what you hear, please go to www.humanisethenumbers.online or go to your favourite podcast platform. So, so our, our plan A now, which we've, all, we've always put a lot of trust in youth from a very early stage. So I remember Sam, who's still with us today, um, applying for us at 15 years old. So he was in, he was in his last year of school, not quite 16. He'd worked in dog kennels since he was 12, um, about to get his GCSEs. And we let him come in for a trial day, basically. He came in, shirt and tie, you know, really, really professional, really baby-faced. And um, you could just see that um, that passion in his eyes and that curiosity in him. And we said, we just haven't got a place here, Sam. We're not, we're not recruiting for anybody at the moment. And um, he wouldn't go away. And he, he kept sending emails in and, and getting in touch. And we said, we're just going to have to give this guy a chance because... You know, at some point we're going to need someone like this and we're going to have missed out. So we brought him in. Um, and our structure now is basically accounting technician. We used to start as a bookkeeper up to client accountant, like a, an FC, and then a finance partner, an FD. Sam actually came in as a client coordinator, picking up the phones and chasing people with information. Then he moved to an accountant technician. Then he moved to a client accountant. And now he's a finance partner in the business. So we've always had an investment in youth, but when we started really struggling uh, with recruitment last year, we were thinking, what, what are we doing? Because we've got such a good track record of bringing young people in. We, we, we could put the majority of our problems to hiring experienced people and the majority of our successes for being the inexperienced people that have come in and they've just soaked it all up. Um, but we now basically every year we will intake three or four apprentices in the hope that two or three of them will, will come really good and stick. And for a small firm, that, that, that's quite a high percentage of our workforce.